Color Edge Times. Did it spare? We got it. Hi, welcome to Color Edge Times. Once again, I am your host, John Kenny. Are there right here, as usual? And today with me, I have a guest. Her name is Charity, and I'm really glad to host her. Um, Charity is a model, and uh, she is well known in Kampala and Uganda. Who is your mentor once again? Mentor is Ken Prince. Ken Prince? Yeah. Not Doreen Kabarebe? No. Okay. He has been in the industry for long, though he's not known right now, but he's called Ken Prince. Doreen is yeah, one of the trainees, but he is my mentor. He's behind my success when it comes to modeling. Excellent. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Too. I have to comment that you're really stunning. You're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like you've had that a million times. Yeah, you? I'm used to people calling me that and they're like, sorry, you're pretty, you're good. They're like, yeah, I'm good. Wow. Yeah. How does it feel to be in that state? That it everybody, feels... everybody literally admires you. It feels good. Like, all my life I've been like a tomboy, people would be like this chick is a boy or something, but now I'm a girl, I love being a girl. Wait, rewind. <laughs> what does tomboy mean here? Like, you know how I used to play like, stuff, I used to play basketball, I used to play netball, you know, you, 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 we're allowed to be in shorts, so I love being in shorts so much. And all my life, it's, if you go through my old pictures, I was so much of a boy, like I would dress like a boy because I love basketball. So, uh, basketball is what makes you uh, act like a boy? No, not really. Like, you know, when you're a basketballer, they would want you to bounce, you know, it's like a thing. Uh -huh. You know? Okay. Not a doubt. So, yeah. did you hang out around boys all the time? All my life, I was around boys. So when, when did you start the basketball thing? I started basketball way in 2014 when I joined Rock High School. Amazing. Yeah. So, uh, what inspired you to do basketball? I mean, there's a huge contra contrast between basketball and modeling. Like okay. you said, you were a tomboy. Uh, basketball, you know how you were at school? And, you know, everyone was playing it, like all my friends. I had a friend called Rodney yes. Hamgisha, who was a basketballer. So, every time I would be around him, I would feel like, you know what, let me try this game. I'm, not, I'm doing nothing. Though before I joined basketball, I used to play netball in O level in Trotan College. Yes. So when I joined Rock High level, uh, I was like, let me do some sports. Then I was I joined basketball. Unfortunately, I was not among the players. Can I ask? It's okay, you can ask. <laughs> which year were you at Rock High? I mean, what I was, class was which year? Uh, form five, form six. I was that was 2014, 15. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. That was long ago. First of all, tell us about Charity. Describe yourself. Who is Charity? Okay. Charity is... Charity is a professional answer there with passion for modeling. So I do modeling as fashion style during my free time, but I'm a blocker if you want land. Uh, a, a mediator, if you want land, I can help you get someone who has land. Oh, yeah. broker. Yeah, broker. Amazing. Like so in case you're looking for land, this stunning beautiful woman right here, she can find you land. <laughs> I mean, most brokers are really rough people and you know, they, they, are, they are not desirable but here we are. Yeah. So you are a broker, you are a land surveyor and you do uh, fashion as a fashion. I almost mixed those, fashion as a fashion. It's passion for passion. Okay. Yeah. So what else should we know about you? What else do you describe yourself as? I mean, your character. What character are you? If someone is to get to know you personally, I mean... I'm a noisy person. I talk a lot. Do you sing? Sing. I try singing, but I don't have a singing voice. I sing for, for fun. Yeah. What are you inclined to? Are you religious? Are you political? Are you an um, artist? I'm not into politics. I don't. I don't know. I just I'm not a politician. Um, I love my peace. Are you religious? Yeah, I love my peace, and my peace comes from God. Incredible. Yeah. Does that mean that you're born again? 
I'm not born again, like born again, but I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic. So who inspires you to become the personality you have? A Kate Joy Wayne. I, I she's a like teacher to... and she's a model and she's just something perfect. She's... Where she's... where is she currently? Currently she's at the she's at the States, the United States of America. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one amazing moment of having right here, sharing the table with uh, charity herself, the beautiful one. I mean, uh, this moment is quite priceless. Why? Because she is one gentle person and at the same time really confident, minus pride. I mean, a lot of girls need to write notes from her. <laughs> the mistake uh, pride for confidence. Those are two different things. So, if I may ask, um, what person are you trying to become in life? Do you have any ambitions? Yeah. Um, I want to be just not a model, but I want to be a role model to a young girl out there at school. I did sciences, and I've realized. The life, the life we're going through right now, the new generation, the new 21st century is all about digital life. Yes. It's about science. So I have an upcoming project called AdvoSTEM. AdvoSTEM will be advocating for STEM education in Africa. What, what is STEM then, education? Uh, now I'm going to that. STEM education, that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Uh, I happened to go for Miss Career Africa, that was 2020, in Rwanda where I developed that love for that project. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring the crown home, but I learned a lot. You know, what matters is that you represented us. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. So when I went there, I realized there's a lot to be done. When, when I talked about myself being a land surveyor, everyone in the room was shocked. Then, how do you do it? Like, yes, I'm a land surveyor. And being in the field, there are very many people ask me how I managed to be who I am. Because if someone talks about land surveying, all they think, think about is which man is that? Yes. You get like, exactly. who's that guy? So if they call you on phone and like, hey, sounds like a voice of a lady. This woman even work for me. They get shocked with my results anyway. Yeah, so I really want more of the generation to be like me. Because I want to be a role model. Just not a model, but a role model. And yeah, that's my dream. Now, one thing I've noticed about you is that um, you, have, you have seen both sides. You've been treated like a tomboy, at the same time you've been treated like a princess. So, um, one thing about uh, most females in the current generation, uh, they believe in uh, being treated like the a knight in shining armor coming in the future. They want to be Cinderella's. They want, you know, they, they want to be treated like they are a property. What is your say about that? Do you think girls should just be pretty and sit back? No. And be treated no, no, like no, no, no. dolls? Yes. Girls should stand up and fight for their worth. Okay. What does worth mean? What is... Sense? You know, you, you can do anything. Yes. You know? Well, it hurts me when a girl puts down her pride on the name of pleasing someone. Yes. You know, you be there and you, you want a 50,000 shillings from your boyfriend, let me say, and he doesn't have it. So you look at your friend whose boyfriend is giving him, sorry, her, like 100,000, you think a guy doesn't love you. Exactly. So you don't want to work for yourself, you think you have to be there and wait for money. No, not in this century. I grew up with a hard-working mom, like, I am what I am because of this woman. Did she raise you alone? No, she didn't raise me alone, but she raised us different. She raised us with the iron hand. Even though now our dad was there, he should provide everything in our home. So I don't know what it means by how to lower down your worth because of a man. Maybe, let me say someone comes with a Mercedes Benz, like, I want you to be my side chick. Then you, you know, you like, oh my God, has a car. Then you, you know, blow yourself for that. No, 
there's more to life, right? There's really more to life. I read an article uh, about a woman. Okay, she, it was written by a woman. I think she's a philosopher. And she's saying, uh, ladies have been wrong to assume that uh, they should be appreciated for who they already are. They already are, uh, you know, they are pretty, they are already girls, and so they are appreciated for that, while men have to work for their appreciation. And this lady says that um, at the end of the day, men are appreciated for what they have actually done, while women eventually lose what they have been appreciated for in the past. You know, like you're pretty until a certain age, you're really, really adorable to everybody until a certain age. But what matters about you first is the prettiness. So that's why I'm asking about um, the Cinderella mindset. Okay, maybe what I should say is uh, these things should be balanced. Yes. You know? Fine, uh, the ladies are being feminists. Controlling homes, but so sometimes ladies go beyond boundaries. You know, God blesses people differently. I grew up in a family where God blessed my mom more than He did my dad. But kept, it all comes to us women. You have to learn how to respect someone besides anything. You, know? you have to respect your your spouse. You have to respect. It, it all comes from respect. Actually, leave respect aside. It all comes from love. We love someone, you can not just do something weird for that person, you know? Yeah. You should, you should have the love, the natural love in your heart. When you say you you have it all and he doesn't have it, it's okay to give him. Like, let's grow. The only problem with men is when they get the money. Sometimes they end up being other wives, other exactly. girlfriends, they grow horns. Yeah, but it all starts with love. Because when you love someone, Either way. What would you advise uh, a girl who is educated like you and maybe they are beautiful and at some point they have to, you know, submit to a man? What would you advise them? Okay. I mean, of course they are already educated, they can't be uh, lied to, they can't be fooled by random stuff. First of all, uh I would ask you, would you, do you love that man? Do you love that man? If it's a yes, love comes from two different ways. We are from two different backgrounds, so we may not think the same way. We may not uh, see things the same way. You should first write down your don'ts and your wants. If, you, if he's worthy, surrendering all your pride to do it. That in the future you don't regret. Because people change. People change. Do it if that's what you want. But if you feel there's a doubt in your heart, please don't go for it. You will cry for the rest of your life. Yeah, because uh, the idea of self worth is really vital. Yeah, self worth. Yeah. Self worth, you need to, you need to really respect yourself. If something worth it, breaking is. Yeah, breaking your pride for do it because you love it that even if in the future it shocks you be like anyway I did it because I love you because people, people change people change people, people weird. how does it feel to be a woman who is confident don't you intimidate some uh, males around you nah no I don't because I give them the I give them a the chance to be who they are so I don't need to so you're, you're not not, I mean, bad manners, like... Uh, you know, when you talk about bad manners, or oh, having a weird character, people are different. I mean, yes. this might be me, and you don't like me this way. Maybe you want me to be on the opposite side of me, this is me. I can't change that about me. Okay. Yeah. Um, how has Top Moto groomed you? I mean, we have to talk about Top Moto, because they are responsible for who you look like. And So, how has Top Moto got you to where you are? First of all, I want to thank Doreen Kavarewe for the sessions we used to have with her. She would have social work to teach us about confidence. But confidence is not something you just get, you have to earn it. Okay. Yeah, you have to earn it. You have to. Talking about confidence, 
Yes. Are you confident to show out your body? No. Depends. The confidence I'm meaning is not just showing which type of body. I mean, you mean like I mean like wearing bikinis before cameras. Like. You know, now when it comes to fashion, yes. people are different. I may not like the bikini kind of stuff. But I may do something else. Yes, yes. Okay. There's some people who can do bikini, I can't do bikini. Okay, you can go ahead with the appreciation <laughs> for top model. Yeah, I appreciate the model for grooming me. Like, yeah. Training me. I remember when I was I went for my first audition, I didn't know how to cut walk. But right now, oh my god, I love the way I walk. So yeah. it's now part of it, it's natural. Yeah, it's now natural. I can walk and feel like... I have seen you walk and I was like, God damn it. Yeah. So, um, what else has Top Model added to you apart from the fashion, you know, the attitude, the, that, that confidence? What else have they added to you? Do they teach you anything? Do they add any knowledge? Yeah, they, they teach us a lot of... A lot of things like um, real life. You know, we, one time we had a campaign on gender-based violence. Yes. So we, we, we had sessions where we, we were trained how to talk to the community because someone has a problem with that, where would you run to? Sure. Yeah. So I read a lot. Like, those guys have taught us a lot. Top model, Top model has been a family from last year. And when, did you know, there. when did you join Top model? You did? That was 2021, last year, around March, I don't know, I don't remember, but it was towards that lockdown, you know, the lockdown, that brief lockdown, that the, the, the two weeks, two months lockdown. Yeah, the initial yeah. one. Yeah. Um, now, let's talk about your achievements. I have seen you uh, going flights, I don't know. What, what achievements have you attained from being a model? I mean, plus your profession. I don't know whether it's your profession or, or your passion that has attained you any achievements, but you can talk about all of them. Okay, uh, about the flights, my first time to fly out was in 2020, was for Miss Curry Africa. Where did you get to? I went to Rwanda. That is Kigali. Then uh, earlier this year, I've gone for a birthday trip. That was Zanzibar. Uh, it was just a birthday trip. Yeah, for a random person. yeah. Like uh, uh, I'd gone through a lot last year, and it's not some time off, and you know, you give back yourself. That's what the cost of what. So this was self-sponsored. Self-sponsored, yes. <laughs> That is one of the most beautiful things you can hear from the lady. She self-sponsored a trip to Zanzibar. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, but you know, I personally, I love traveling, and that's why I love my career as a land surveyor. I, I, I don't be in one place. You're lucky to find me here today. I would, not, I would be in the field, maybe somewhere, maybe in the world, right? Priceless. Yeah. So being being me, I love traveling. So I think it's just the beginning of my travels. Like God blesses me, and I get money more than what I have right now. I'll be traveling. So get used to seeing me out there. Amazing. How yeah. about the achievements? Have you won one any awards? You know, prizes, recognition? Mm, not really, but I will. I have hope. I've not won any. I missed one of his career. I'm here chasing, chasing in top model, some other competition like spa model. But God knows, who knows what. Well, the reason we hosted you here once again, Abios, is that uh, Nyaboni Charity right here is a really confident person, and she she should be a good example to a lot of females out there. And at Kampala I tend to focus on positivity. If something adds positive value to other people out there, a young person like herself, definitely we should have them posted right here. So uh, maybe what I can ask you is to uh, talk to our fellow young people out there. What would you advise a young person trying to achieve their goals? 
or you know going through you know the, the normal parts of life getting born going to school studying getting married is that the, the normal the normal path they should follow no. anyway uh, do, you, do, you, do you value getting married yes i do but it's not like it's a master for school you have to get married no i'm not married but i'm here having my life best time of my life do, do, you, do, you, do you receive applications i don't want I want to, wow. I just want to have my time. That's what happens when people want to have their place. Continue. Yeah, anyway, for the young girls out there, or the young generation, when you have a dream, you need to fight for it. Let no one, like, break you down, you know? You can't do this. Imagine I was a tomboy and now I'm a model and everyone like, hey, I know she had calves. Yeah, I have small calves anyway. <laughs> But you should not give up in something you believe in. You should strive to what you want. Okay. Yeah. We are, no. We're going to go through a lot of ups and downs, a lot of rejection, a lot Do of comments. Yes. yes. From who? I mean, who? Hey. Literally. Jesus. <laughs> a lot. I, when it comes to look, I remember when I was looking for my job, my first time, first time looking for a job, I was rejected. Okay, okay, that's yeah. That's one common. Uh, when uh, in the modeling world, it's normal. I, have, yeah. I don't know how many times I've gone to Jerram and it's like, wow, I like the way you walk. Then it's like, I'm going to take you the next minute. Then it's like, put your phone on. I'm going to call you back. Then it doesn't call you back. But you know, rejection is redirection. Maybe. So. Outside school, life is not the way people think. Like, if you're from school, you're going to get out and get a job. Then you're going to have fun, you know. Then you're going to, you know, you're going to get married to a rich man. Oh, you're going to. Life is just like that. No. It's what different. is it like instead? Unfortunately, everyone has their own ways with how they how life treats them. Some people lucky, they end up with a rich man. Some people lucky, their parents made it for them. Some people lucky, you know. But some people really have to work so hard. But you should not blame yourself for who you are, because that's what you are. You can't change that about you. You have to just to not give up. If you go back to where from where I come from, and sometimes my, my friends think maybe, they're like, how did Charity make it where she is right now? This girl was here in the street. Like, how would she? But I just didn't give up. And I'm not giving up yet, I've just started. So you should not just give up with something because of people's words, or maybe like rejection, or maybe your background, you know? Some people think like, no, I can't make it, but you can't. Above all, don't forget to pray, because God can move you from dust to grace. To, to where charity uh, I'm not yet in grace, I'm towards the grace. Amazing. Yeah. I think that was so beautiful. Maybe uh, as we finalize, you can you can use modeling to tell young people what life is like. Yeah, like, I'm using modeling as a I mean, criteria for like I mean, being the troll model. I want to. I mean, this is a platform for you to tell the young people what life is like using your experience in modeling. Tell them, okay. For instance, uh, um, you say modeling. You probably went there with a certain mindset. You went there, maybe you wanted to look cool, to, to have photos. No, truly. That, that's that's truly. an example. No. What mindset did you go with? Modeling is just not something I started having now. Yes. I had. If someone has passion for something, it's something they have grown with it. Okay. You know. I remember we used to watch Miss Uganda and TV. Me, my mom, and my dad and. Actually, the first person who called me a model was my dad. He's like, you look like a model, right? you know? So I, all my life, I, I knew I was a model, but I didn't know how to start. Yes. But Tango Talk Model helped me bring out that. How did you get to talk model? It was an advert, you know, like online stuff. No, we so much online during lockdown. So I actually developed my ad for modeling during the first lockdown. Yes. I got time to think through who I am. I really thank God for that lockdown because it gave me time to think through who I am. 
actually people getting to know my modeling career is 2020 and when i went to miss Ca- for miss career then 2021 doing top model under, under what brands did you work for them for like miss career miss career i just you just went independent yeah independent wow that's beautiful yeah you know when you want something you, you have to you already had the confidence yeah so thank you so much okay. for honoring our invitation i'm really glad that you showed up Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave links to her businesses in the description right below there. If she has the link, do you? Um, yeah. You, you can tell them, tell them about your brands and your offers. Uh, I'll tap in my number there in case you want to like survey services, land surveying, then you follow my Instagram page. I'll share it with you. Then thank you so much for watching Kambalai's Times. This has been our show and we have been having the pleasure to talk to Charik Nyabonyo, one of the best models in Uganda generally. From me and the entire Kampala Edge Times team, I have to say goodbye. Kampala Edge Times. Did it spare? But we got it.